Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan and in this video, we'll know the difference between the actual and approximate time in the world of finance. We all know that if we compute for the interest of a particular loan, time is always involved and sometimes it is expressed in number of days. That is why it's important for us to determine the actual and approximate time whenever this is possible. The actual time is the exact or actual number of days in any given month. While in the approximate time, we consider all the months within a year contain 30 days. For the actual time, we use the Gregorian calendar that consists of 12 months and contains a specific number of days for each of the month. Some months contain 31 and others contain 30 days. So the only thing that we need to be careful is with February because it can be 28 or 29 depending on the leap year. So we, we, we can know if the year is leap year if it is divisible by 4. 2017 is not divisible by 4. So meaning this is not a leap year. But 2016 is divisible by 4. So 2016 is a leap year. So if it's a leap year, February has 29 number of days. And for those who forgot the divisibility rule, 2016 is divisible by 4 because it has no remainder when divided by 4. 2017 has a remainder when divided by 4, so 2017 is not divisible by 4. For easy recall, we can use our knuckle bumps and gaps to determine the specific number of days for each of the month in the Gregorian calendar. So if I will ask you the number of days for April, you start with the knuckle of your index finger. So January, February, March, and then April. See here that April is on the knuckle gap, so therefore it has 30 days. What if I will ask about August? So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and then you start again with the knuckle of your index finger for August, and August has 31 days because it's on our knuckle bump. Let's have this example. Find the actual and approximate time from March 23 to October 16, 2020. So here, we need to determine the actual number of days and the actual approximate days from March to October 16, 2020. Here, 2020 is a leap year because it's divisible by 4. But since we are only identifying the number of days from March to October, February will not be a problem. So we start with March. So it has been 23 days in this example. So we need to consider the remaining number of days in March. So March has 31 actual days in the Gregorian calendar. So 31 minus 23, the answer is 8. So in the actual days, this is 8. In the approximate days, we always consider all the months containing 30 days. So here, March is just 30. So 30 minus 23, because it's March 23, the answer is 7. So in the approximate days, this is 7. For the actual days in April, we need to consider after 31. So April has 30 days, May has 31, June has 30, July has 31, August also has 31. Then back to 30, and we have October 31. Oops! We won't consider October 31 because this is October 16. So instead, we write 16. Here, all months are considered 30. And October also has 16 because we ended at October 16. Now, all we have to do is to add this column and to add the number of days in this column to get the actual and approximate days. And the total for this is 207 while it's 203 in the approximate days. That is from March 23 to October 16, 2020. Another example. 
we all know that of these two, approximate days is easier. So from February to August, we will just consider the number of days as 30. So to start with February 2, we need to subtract 30 with 2. So the answer here is 28. So we have 28 here and we have 30 for the remaining months except of course for August. Now how about for the actual days? For the actual days, we all know that February in 2020 has 29 number of days because it's a leap year. So we're going to subtract 29 with 2 because 2 days had passed. So for this, we will use 27. So 27 here. March has how many days? It has 31 days. April has 30, 31, 30, 31. And August also has 31. But since we ended at 3, we will just write 3 here. Now adding all these values will give us 183 for the actual days and for this i always multiply 30 to the number of 30s here in the column so we have 1 2 3 4 5 so 30 times 5 is 150 so all i need to do is to add 28 plus 150 plus 3 so that the answer here is 181 And this time, we need to find the actual and approximate time from November 3, 2020 to March 22, 2021. So that's from November to March. For the actual number of days, November has 30 days. So the number of days after November 3 is 27. So we start with 27 here. December has 31 days. January, as we all know, has 31 days. February in 2021 is only 28 because 2021 is not a leap year. March has a, what, 31 days. Okay. In the approximate days, November is considered 30. So we also have 27 here. So this is 27 for the actual number of days, November has 30. So minus 3 because November 3. And then we have here 27. So we have 27 here. December has 31 days. January also has 31 days. February in 2021 is not leap year. So we only have 28 days for February. And 31 for March. But... We only have until March 22, so this is 22. This is also 22. Now, in the approximate number of days, this is also 30. So, lessening 3, we have 27. We have 30 for the remaining months. The sum for the actual of days is 139. And in the approximate days, we also have 139. So this time, the actual days and the approximate days are equal. Knowing the actual and approximate days is very important whenever we try to compute for the interest between dates. Remember that the formula for the time in the ordinary interest is always divided into 360 days, while the time for the exact is always 365 so all we need to do is to know the number of days for each of this computation so whenever we say ordinary interest for actual time we use the ordinary interest formula and we use the actual number of days here or here and whenever we say exact interest for actual time we use the exact interest formula using the actual number of days between this two days. Now, the first one here is called the banker's rule because it's often used by banks in computing the interest on savings or deposits. So whenever you go to a bank, they usually consider this computation for the interest. 
Now, how about we try this example? Find the interest using the four methods on 30,000 pesos at 4.5% from August 2, 2020 to November 27, 2020. So let's start identifying the actual number of days and the approximate number of days because we need to find all the interest using the four methods. So the actual of actual days, number of days for August is 31. So 31 minus 2 is 29. So here we start with 29. September has 30 days. October has 31. And this is November 27. So this is 27. Likewise, we also have 27 here. For August in the approximate days, it has 30. So minus 2 the answer is 28 so we use 28 here and then we also use 30 for all the months so the sum here will be 117 this is for actual and for the approximate we have 115 okay let's begin with the interest of ordinary using actual so the formula is always P R T so the principal is 30,000 pesos times the rate which is 4.5 percent times the time and since we are computing for the ordinary this should be 360 the actual number of days a while ago is 117, so this is 117. For the exact, using the actual, the formula is also PRT. So this is 30,000 pesos times 4.5% times... 117 because we you are we are using actual but since we need to compute for the exact interest we need to divide 117 with 365 because this is always the denominator for exact interest for the next one we will use approximate so this is again prt 30000 times 4.5 percent times this time I'm going to use 115 because it's the approximate number of days that we have computed a while ago and since we are using ordinary this is divided by 360 for the last one which is exact approximate we have PRT again 30,000 times 4.5% times this time I'm going to use 365 as my denominator because this is exact interest now using your calculator here we have 438.75 pesos here we have 432.75 74 pesos here it's 431.25 pesos while the last one we have 425.34 comparing this four interests <laughs> there's probably a reason why banks use this method the ordinary actual because it has the highest paying interest so if you are going to the bank and you're planning to ask them for a loan they will compute your interest using ordinary actual because they will benefit more from this method <laughs> let's try this other problem find the interest and amount on 1.5 million pesos at 6.35 percent simple interest from March 3, 2020 to December 30, 2020 using Bunker's Rule. So for this case, we need to use the actual number of days. You try it yourself and you should be getting 302 days. Using the formula for the ordinary and actual, which is the Bunker's Rule, 
this is equal to the principal which is oh this is 1.5 million so 1 million and 500 thousand that's a lot of zeros <laughs> multiplied to 6.35 percent and multiplied to remember that we have the actual which is 302 and for the ordinary we need to use 360 days using our calculator the answer is 79,904.17 pesos so if you are planning to put your 1.5 million using a time deposit account then probably you'll get 79,900 for after almost a year uh, is that good not bad if you're not doing anything and your money just sits there right <laughs> and that's all for this video if you want more video discussion in mathematics in the modern world please like share and subscribe for your updates thank you for listening and see you in the next video